Let's play this in full here. There is no sound, but I can do a boom. And there's gonna be a You dirty alarm clock, how dare you? And, and. Cool, all right. So definitely new ending here. Some good stuff overall. So here are my thoughts. I think generally it works. I think because you're asking here how far you want me to take it or like how far you want to go and, and when to move on. I think my main thing is that if it's an exercise, it just kind of depends how much you want to learn from it and, and how soon you are willing to, to move on. For me, it's things like, from a technical point of view, when he wakes up here, there's just the moments where it gets very sharp in terms of that body stopping, the leg stopping at the same time, kind of on a linear key, and then having a bit of a droop, like it's kind of like a, not a moving hole, but it's also a bit of a drift back. And then that could have a bit more of a snappy timing on the exit. It's kind of like, oh, <laughs> not that fast, but just a bit faster. This is all cool. And then we're back into kind of step mode. So I would definitely continue if you want to present that somewhere. So it's not too much of a mix. This feels a bit soft in terms of a couple of things. A, he gets up a bit one axis. It would be neat to get him slightly. It depends how far you want to go. To me, it would be like this shoulder lower so that this side comes up first, the head a bit more towards us. And then he gets into this position. And then on this arm raise like there's nothing else happening here i would have a little bit of move this way like when it's a roll to his side over and then the same thing here a bit more and then you can come back and a bit of a rotation in y just give it a bit more complexity it feels a bit simple and it gets up here and especially the face this feels more like as opposed to oh, oh that hurts and then ah on this here watch out i think we're a bit low with the pupils Kind of starting to lose them. I don't mind having an anticipation like this where <laughs> he gets ready. But then I would make it zippier. Once it runs you here, it's faster. I feel like I'm seeing this shape a lot as opposed to feeling it. Like this, it just it's too slow where this stretch feels more like a character that's off model. This is cool. I like that you have a shake, shake, and then up. Also, like where he shakes is always a bit different. I think that's pretty good, but it's the face still seems a bit too, too timid in here. I see some stuff in there, but then the lids are covering the eyes a bit. Like the manic pain is not quite there. And I think these guys at the inner brows are going too low where they cross, where, where I might keep that into one shape a bit more. It just feels a bit much here. It's mostly the eyelids. Is it going too high? It looks, looks a bit too high. But at that point, I would have a bit of a snarl. Arr, and gritted teeth. And then you can always relax. So then you can come back into it here. But even this feels a bit much. Arr, at least it's fast enough. But to me, it just feels a bit uniform. Where I would give this a bit more of a, arr, a graphic shape with a taper at the bottom. Or a taper here and a widening at the bottom. And then this here, so it's done. Boom. That's okay. It just feels a bit poppy in some of the frames here. I think it might go back into some stepped area. Like this is a linear key. And so I have some offset so that I'm moving at the same time. A bit too high twin there. I'll give this a bit of a so a bit of a tangent. Give this a bit of a different pose. And a bit softer on your hold. It's more like it's almost like you want to hold this for a couple more frames and hold, 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 hold. And then it goes into... Uh, and then, then it gets a bit harsh again. Where this is a bit of a... If you track the the eyebrow part as it comes down, it's a bit of a sticky right through there in 2D space. And then suddenly it pops up, so linear key there. And then it really stops up here, coming back. And then it gets really stiff where all of this is one piece of geometry. I need to have a bit more of a breakup. And then same thing here as we end on that slide. Everything is moving as one piece and ending a bit harshly. And it's only you have 
this move on the arm that doesn't quite move this section enough. And then it's a bit of a mix of a quick move that's a stopping a bit quickly, then with a, a kind of a drift, it doesn't quite mesh well with a moving hold. So, yeah, it feels like where it's it goes down in one axis stop and then it drifts this way as opposed to continuing where that momentum went in that direction a bit more feels a bit too much like this to me and in this i would milk again i would have this and watch out he looks kind of this way make sure it looks at this and i would hold this a bit hold this a bit and then sh boom, faster on the downs like oh you really stop it and then and then what I would do, personally, what I would do is go down and then lock it. Don't have any movements. It's, it's basically, he stops the whole thing with the finger. But then and then you have like a slow tremble, high frequency as it gets bigger. Like the, the, that vibrating puck here starts to vibrate more, 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 more. And that's when it goes through here, into the elbow, into here. And then fanning out here and more and more of these pieces are moving. And then it breaks. But I do like that he goes, whoa! And it seems like he is saving his switch. <laughs> but I like that it escalates into him going, but it, it feels a bit too, too fast in terms of this is moving, drops down, and immediately goes here. And I guess, I mean, if this is his prized object here, that he would immediately react to it. But there's something beat-wise where I feel like he wants to go, and hold a bit looking here and goes wait oh no just even if it's a couple frames of wait looking here darting tick, 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 and then over here and then he goes out into that subjectively <laughs> that's that's what i would have for all of this all right and um, let me know if that makes sense thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.